This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Of course, it's been a long time. Next year will be the 25th anniversary of this. If you had it to do over again, yeah. what would you do anything differently or would it happen the exact same way? Do you think? Well, if the situation was exactly the same way, uh, I, I, you know, I, I don't think we'd have any choice but to do it the same way. I mean, uh, uh, you know, the, we all look at, well, we should have done it earlier. We should have done it, you know, as soon as Vince said, I can't do the contract, the belt should have come off of him at that time there and, and high in sight. And, uh, you know, like all these people uh, on, on these podcasts and two of them on your network say, you know, it could have been avoided. It couldn't have been avoided unless Bret Hart himself wanted wanted it to be avoided, and uh, him taking that stance. And that's what and I'll say it again. That's one thing I've never understood is how he would have felt if it had happened to in his dad territory, you know, with one of the talent, top talent there, you know. And so, uh, but uh, I respect Brett. I think Brett was was a great champion. I think Brett was a great asset to our, our business. I think Brett was a, a great uh, great person to have carry that, that that title during during the time that our business was not doing good. He gave a real legitimacy to to the title, and he 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 protected it like it was real and like you know like it then it. You know, it's real, but what well, you know what I mean, like a you know, like an Olympic gold medal or something like that. He took a lot of pride in being a champion, but Brett wasn't the, the perfect employee either. I mean, he'll tell you. I mean, you know, he'd show up at work when he wanted to show up. You know, you'd have meet greets planned, and uh, and his champion. You know, they even from the Hogans to the to the Warriors to the Savages to, to everybody else, they were always there to do meet and greets. And then when you set up a meet and greet with with Brett. You had to worry if he was going to be there on time, even when the show started, let alone to do a meet and greet. So he wasn't the greatest, you know, in, in, in lines of that. But he, when it came to that bell ringing and him going to the ring, he, he, he's, he's right up there with, with the top. I'm not going to say he's best there ever was, but he's right up there in, uh, on, on, in that top and uh, of, of, the, of the totem pole. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.